Hi, I'm Richard Hockey. I'm here on the uh, green roof, south green roof at the Chicago Botanic Garden. We planted this garden about a year ago. In fact, the anniversary of the opening of the Science Center was just about a year ago. So the garden's been in place for one year. We're very excited and, and happy to see how well it's done. We did our numbers for winter. We had about 90 to 95 percent survivability on the green roofs, uh, which is excellent. So we're on the south roof. The south roof is the native roof. Uh, on this side of the, the building only plants from North America, no cultivars are allowed. So we're looking at uh, native plants in a, a mix of soil levels. Uh, we're, we're at four inch, six inch, and eight inch soil depths. Really the only two things that we lost completely on, the, on this roof were the uh, perennial lupin, lupin perennis, and uh, the butterfly weed, Asclepias tuberosa. 100% losses on, on both those groups. Otherwise, we've had a fairly good success on everything. Uh, some things better than others. We're also seeing uh, great success with the same plant in each of the various depths. A good example would be Calaria macrantha, which we're growing in four, six, and eight inch depths. The four inch went yellow or tan, as, as it were, earlier in the summer whereas the, um, the ones in the six and the eight have stayed green longer. So that's just a preliminary um, thought on how well these plants will do in the various steps. On the green roof we're evaluating both herbaceous perennials and woodies. Uh, some of the woodies that have done real well for us are Rosa Carolina that have uh, flowered well and have fruited up very nicely so we're seeing their wonderful red hips at this time of the year. Uh, also uh, Potentilla fruticosa which is still flowering uh, putting up yellow flowers uh, very nicely at this point. Uh, also Ceanothus americanus, the um, New Jersey tea is doing very nicely. Uh, herbaceous plants uh, on the native side uh, have, are starting to go into their fall color. You're seeing good fall color on Penstemon digitalis, uh, the beard's tongue, uh, very nice uh, purple, reddish purple, uh, showing nicely in the good uh, brown fruit on that, very attractive. Uh, we're also starting to see the asters bloom, the New England aster, as well as the silky aster uh, and the smooth aster. They're all blooming at this, as, at this point. So every day we're up here, we're just watching these plants, see how they grow, see if they're prosperous or if they're declining uh, due to the conditions of the roof. 